Thank you. Oh, we are the whole stream oh, is stream. muted. That was me. Yeah. That was that was good. Was bad. Perfect perfect timing. Welcome back everyone. Uh for the very first time I'm saying this. Uh to <laughs> Harvest Valley uh episode 3 final mm -hmm. hour. I was going on about how it's not a big deal that we unleashed uh the Aya, the winter goddess. It's probably fine. Uh you know. Uh that ice castle it's just temporary inconvenience. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. Um yeah. it's the middle of summer, it's gotta melt, right? Right, right. Yeah, no big deal. Uh <laughs> but uh that I think Ishmael was leaving. Um Was there anything else that Ishmael wanted to do or say uh before no, he, he left? left? He left pretty solidly. Okay. He's just gone. It's just on his boat. Yeah. It's his treasure. Gotta outrun the ice. All right. Yeah. Um, bye bye. I, uh, we'll I guess it, you know. we could say that. Oh no. It's been ice knowing you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, yeah. You're fired. Get out. So I'm trying to as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, where, where are we? Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go next? Golden. Well, you just became the uh, the prophet. Yeah. Um, I think I want to see uh, Estefan buy a house. That's a good idea. Yeah. Do you need my Do you need my help buying a house? Yeah. Probably. Why stop at buying a house? You probably just buy the whole fucking land that you live on. But, yeah. But, I mean, I'm, he still needs the house to live in. I yeah. mean, just buy the whole Estevan's ranch plus the sleepy forest and then co opt any houses that are there. I don't think like, there great. are any houses there already. I think that, that's, that's part of the problem. No. Yeah, you can buy the Foss Mansion. Oh, um, yeah, you could buy the Foss Mansion. Sure. That'll <laughs> not be weird. Fix it up. <laughs> it's just, you just got to evict the current current squatter, the yeah. Winter Queen. It's no big deal. Yeah. She's, I, I mean, mean, you can go you to just... her and be like, I have this legal document. <laughs> legal document. This is definitely my house. Get out. And she's I mean, that's, that's like, how, uh, that's how goddesses work, right? Uh, she's like, uh, no, I'm actually a goddess, so you can just. Uh, just don't bother. Um, great. So, yeah, so I want to see you buy a house. What kind of house do you buy, Esteban? I actually need to take care of my dog real quick. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we don't get to see him buy a house. <laughs> um, we'll buy a house in a minute. Yeah. Well, let's look at the other. Well. Ishmael has done everything. Like he even has all his things checked. I mean, um, when you go to see Ishmael, it's the end credits rolling, but instead of the normal background scene uh, ending, it's literally just him sailing off into the sunset, and mm -hmm. the music is "Midnight Train to Georgia." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Nice, nice. Um, you gotta plant some crops. I do need to plant some crops. That's true. I need to plant some trees, which means I need to buy some seeds. Oh, uh, shit. Right. I'm sorry. Can I cut back in here? Why didn't I just leave Estevan all of my properties? I don't know. My goats. Why didn't you do that? I am going to do that. I... <laughs> that's, that's what happens. He literally puts his notary in a bottle and throws it into the water <laughs> as it goes fast. I mean, he's real lucky. <laughs> no, but seriously... Uh, Esteban can have my houses when I leave. I won't be back for them. They are of no value to me. Yeah, it just means you gotta move your sheep and uh, your horses over to the hardlands. Yeah, you can you can handle the hardlands, right? <laughs> no? Yeah. Not. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh brilliant yeah i need to so so i'm gonna buy the lighthouse and the uh i think the lighthouse belongs to the city 
but mm. there's a house next to it, and there's another house by the, across from the docks. Cool. Um, I'm just going to take Ishmael's property that he doesn't need anymore. Um, right. That's do, does anybody need to be paid for that to happen, or and is it There's just always fine? some bribes that grease the wheels <laughs> uh, in our idyllic town? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. They're, they're good bribes. Um, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Yeah, what do you do with your money for the most part? Because you've been penniless all this time. And now you have like a fortune. Oh, I have no idea what to do with my assets. I think I haven't even sold what we got yet. Are like you... I have I have maps, yeah. You just get cash dice. Are you going to uh buy, buy shoes? With all my cash dice, I'm gonna buy the king's shoes. <laughs> You're just gonna spend them all on one roll. Because you don't know any better. Yeah. I'm going to buy the king's shoes. Well, I guess I can't stop you. Uh, it's odds <laughs> one to buy shoes. Oh, I no, like he wants to buy the king's um, shoes. Oh, yeah. okay. King's shoes. So the mo- a large part of the money is to is to like find the right people and find the people who know those people and then have it and shipped. Then, yeah. <laughs> and of course to actually pay for the shoes as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I think this is in life paths. What things are worth. Here we go. Uh, jewelry, exotic fabrics, rare antiquities. Sure, so Ops 4 for the King's Shoes. That's not too bad. No. I just, I need to know Excuse how, me. Many, how many cash dice are you spending on this? That's right. <laughs> um, I like eight. <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 I mean, 13 is the 8th number in the Fibonacci sequence. Just got And that would be all my cash dice? Yeah, that would be all your cash dice. Now, I can't recommend this. In In good faith. uh, It's maybe reasonable. 13 is probably too many. 13 is probably too many. (laughs) I really can't recommend this. What's that obstacle again? Four? That was four. All right. Uh, how many cash do you spend? All of them. Wow. Okay. See, to get eight successes. And then now I have three sixes. You got so many successes. This happens so quickly. Okay, you have the best <laughs> pair of shoes in the world. <laughs> um, and no money. Good job. So dumb. So dumb. So <laughs> Autumn sees you with your new pair of shoes. And she's probably never gonna talk to you again. <laughs> Ruin your own life so easily. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Um Look, a lot of money went a lot of different ways. Well, I, I think need... in the future we can come back to like the people that I met along the way and what these shoes look like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the real thing is that they're still just shoes, right? They're still going to wear out in a couple of years. It's true. It'll take a little longer. I mean, it depends. It's good craftsmanship. Uh, do you wear them in the mud? I think I have sense mm-hmm. to... Mm, do you wear them in the mm. mud? No. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. Um, what does Ashlyn spend it on? Well, I need to buy some uh, apple trees. Yes, you do. Um, 
does Rachel the seed seller sell apple seeds? Or... Oh, of course. She sells saplings even. You don't have to. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's, I'm going to go visit her to buy some, okay. some apple seedlings for the western end of my farm. So Rachel, you know, she's thrilled to see you. Um, I assume you've been keeping up the relationship. Yeah, definitely. Um, so she uh, is like, yeah, seedlings. I have seedlings. Let's see here. What are seedlings going to cost you? Do, 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 do. They're usually significantly more expensive than seats. Right. I think up three. Up three? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to spend multiple of my cash dice on this, but uh, I'm only going to spend four. Okay. That's insensible. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> did it i did it exactly and i need nice. all those dice so flawless fantastic so rachel gives you the saplings and she says oh ashlyn i wanted to talk to you about you know a business venture in the future it could be mutually beneficial for both of us absolutely i i i definitely like business and being the best at business. Yes. And tell you are your accounting system has really revolutionized the way that I do business. And well I actually have to think for a minute here because my brain is slipping gears. Uh what was it? What was her scheme? Hmm. Um, I know how she wants to do it. Um, shit. I think she says... You know, with the with the way that we've been just raking in money, I think it's time that I stop just buying seeds. Started buying property as well. Oh, really? Yes. How do you mean? I, mean, I think it's time I started, you know, buying farms and leasing them to people to grow things on. Okay, okay. Um, how do you start? Well, oh, I remember what my idea was now. Okay. Um, she says, so I've got a lot of money. You've got a lot of money. If we put our money together, we can just buy this whole town. What we do with it? Whatever we want. Of course, in order to make sure you know it's fair and we can't cheat each other, we have to have a really binding contract. The most binding contract. What do you mean? contract that says you and I are the same person. Illegally indistinct, anyway. And she's got this smile on her face as she's hinting at something that she really wants. Hmm... I don't, I don't know if Ashlyn picks up on it. 
Mm. I feel like she's kind of naive. Okay. Um, is there some kind of rule I could make to to? I feel like this is bureaucracy. Okay, I I have bureaucracy, actually. To know this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. <coughs> Can I fork counting? That makes sense. Yep. Uh. Paperwork wise. Definitely. Um. I don't think Reed would directly help me here. Mm. Farming wise might be uh pushing it. Yeah, pushing it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. That's it. Okay. Okay. What's the ob? Um, let's say it's ob's one. Okay. Well, yeah, ob's one. Okay. Well, I actually have bureaucracy, so that I have a chance here. Uh, but I also, I, I also feel like she might, she might fuck us up. Okay, no, oh, not even okay. a little bit. Good. So yeah, this is actually a marriage proposal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, so I, I think once she, like, figures it out and processes it through her, like, analytical mind, she's like, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Yes. Okay. Uh, so Rachel is very happy about this. Uh, she gives Ashlyn a kiss on the lips. Yay. She says, oh, it's wonderful. Let's, let's get married. Let's get married during the Harvest Festival. That sounds wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, and... Yeah, she like what I mean she she she's like really excited, like mm-hmm. she's like I'm trying to think about like the most bookish way that you could be excited about getting <laughs> married. Like is she, is she like dancing around with her accounting ledger or something? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um it's like yes, and like there's like money signs in her eyes that are also heart shaped. Like, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that sounds. I think I can imagine right. that. Yeah, that like, w- right. like ones like this, and then the others like flip the other way, and then they yeah. both kind of come together. Like they're like this, but then they're, they kind of flow. Like maybe it's how like, like you know, a money sign scroll really fast, but it's like a jackpot where it's money signs and hearts. I think it was like uh, like like the the colored part turns into hearts but then like the pupil turns into dollar signs yeah 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 it's perfect uh, yeah. absolutely perfect so, but yeah um so you got your apple trees yay <laughs> yes yay good uh then i'm going to plant some apple trees Okay. Um, farming. Well, farming makes it harder if the crop is harder. Yes. Um, okay, I think it's going to be abs four for planting apple trees. Oh, boy. I'm going to uh, fail miserably because I you... still don't have, I still don't actually know how to farm. Yep. If you fail, the apple trees will die unless you can get the town singer to sing to them. Wait. Can I can I pray to the harvest goddess before I do this? Sure. Uh, what boon do you want? Uh 
to make my uh, farming uh, open ended? Or okay. would that not work because I don't actually have the skill? No, it was this one ability? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. What obs is that? Two. Sure. Which means there's a versus test, so you get a plus one as well if you succeed. Okay. And they got a one if you fail. Right, 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 right. I mean, not a versus test, a leak test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't have any modifiers. I don't have any Artha. Base ob is two. Wait, I don't know if I'm rolling the right thing anymore. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I wasn't rolling the right thing. Okay. No modifiers. No Artha. Base ob of two. I did it. All right, you did it. So it's open ended and you get a plus one. Get your farming check. Okay. Uh, farming. And I can't make this open ended because of reasons, but I get plus one. No Artha. <laughs> I'm still gonna fail though. Uh maybe Ooh. not, actually. Ooh, wow, uh, so last pieces. So um roll one D six. I mean it is open ended, right? No, I need sorry, I was supposed to do three. Yeah. Two more D6. Oh, jeez. Wow. Uh, Dang. I failed all of those. Harsh. Um, uh, let me sp spend a... F uh, let me spend my fate to... Uh, wait. Hold on a second. Is there any <laughs> way for me to un un unleash the uh, uh, the the curse of the night in order to help me? I think you're you already to only do it once a session. Okay, I'm just checking. Just, yeah, because I mean, it's just, just checking. I will. Yeah. Like, if you guys want to allow that to be used more than once a session. No, once a session is yeah. totally fine. Because was... it is the uh, you know the blaze reference. I don't. I don't think that um, it would make sense. Yeah, um, me neither. Okay. Uh, I don't think rerolling one d six, even open ended, is going to help me here. No. So I fail miserably. Right. Yeah, you fail. Um, your yeah, you, you put the trees in. You wire them, and it's just something missing. Like they're just there. Like, you can feel, like, your sense through the goddess, like, telling mm -hmm. you that these plants They need aren't someone live. to sing for them. Yeah. So. Ooh. What if I know, well, I know that the singer, the town singer, has been singing to the whale. Mm-hmm. But what if I can convince her to teach Estevan the song to sing to it? Um, you can try. Oh, I mean, I guess the question is, would that be easier than convincing her to leave? <laughs> and roll just do it herself. A, um, we need to roll wise for this. Um, uh, farming wise. Farming wise? Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, failure means there's additional complication. Um, can I add in fishing wise since she's singing to a whale? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, what's my ob? Uh, this is details, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Feel like details, or maybe it's abs too. Uh, let me look at this real quick. Where's my? Did I close my thing? Oh, here it is. Probably. Uh, nope, I didn't close it. It's here. Uh, what? Rabbits? No. Um, that's just interesting fact. Abs too. Abs too. Yeah. 
I did it. Right, there you go. So you know it's going to be much easier to convince her to uh, do it. To do it herself. Yeah, because the otherwise, secrets. It's it's not a secret so much as it's magic. Mm. Mm. And okay. she can't teach Esteban to use magic. Uh, unless they were to choose him as the new town singer, but it's always been a woman before. Gotcha. Um, cool. Uh, so I guess um, I'm going to go talk to her. Okay. So the town singer is at the docks. Um, you notice as you walk on the docks that the water level is very high. Um, it seems to be like lapping almost at the dock itself. And you're pretty sure when you got here that there were several feet below the docks of empty space. Mm-hmm. And it certainly isn't the tides. There's just the water level is just much higher. Is the water supposed to be this high? Could you ask? Uh, the, the singer as I come up on her. I say so. She's singing, and you know, she doesn't respond to you immediately. But when she stops, you know, to have some water and relax her voice, uh, she says, "No, it's not. It's uh, it's weird, isn't it? Maybe the docks are maybe the docks are sinking into the muck of the uh, of the lake." Oh, that's not good. No, but. I have other concerns. I... I've come to you because our crops are failing. Um, I... I... I've spoke to the harvest goddess. She has made me her prophet. And I know what these crops are missing is your songs so here's the new rex oh i know i'm i'm oh what's the word i am uh i'm not fulfilling my duties but i feel like this is important this whale's life is important and its happiness is important if I, if I ignore my duties, no, this is a prosperous town. People will, will have a sort of five winter. No. Just fine. No, they won't. We we need you now more than ever. To. To fulfill your duties. Well, this... Why are you so worried that it's just winter? It comes and goes every year. No, it's more than that. Winter goddess, harvest goddess's sister, she's here now. Can you not see the ice castle in the distance? She looks, you know, and, you know, it's very obvious because that's how Mr. Faust was. He'd like to, everyone to see his mansion. Mm -hmm. Uh, She said, oh, well, yeah, I mean... I always knew that place was weird. There's a lot of town legends about it, and Mr. Faust is still alive. For all these centuries, it's uh, bound to freeze over once in a while, right? It's something more than that. Please, please. The whale can wait for a few hours, a few days. What if I leave and the whale has no one to answer its song? Then he can wait for you or he can go home. Okay, so make your persuasion check. Um, If you succeed, she will do her duties. If you fail, 
the whale will have calves, baby whales. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, what's my ob? All right. So her will is going to be a three. Poof. And I feel like she's fairly convicted about this. I believe I'm allowed to raise the ob for that. But I won't in this case. I think it's more important to it be your choice. Is there any way for me to convince her that I am the prophet of the harvest goddess in order to give me a bonus here? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I think you can just, I think she believes you. So yeah, just take an advantage die. Well, it's better than nothing. Um, base ob is three. Probably have other forks you can put in there. I don't because I still am learning this. Oh, okay, that would be the thing. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fail. All right. Well, I got I got two sixes and one last, one last um. Unless fate, so. Ooh. Ooh, run away. Five out of six. All right. Harsh. So she says, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to keep singing until someone else takes my place, I guess. I know people are angry. I know someone who might take your place. Because I don't know it's always been a girl. Sure. Um, she says, well, they have to have the goddess's blessing. As a prophet, don't you think I could see that? So she's like very conflicted. Uh, but obviously you failed your persuasion check. Mm -hmm. So... Unless you do this thing, uh, she will not leave. Yeah, so I'm the gonna. Dogs. I'm going to go and get. Uh, I'm gonna go and get Estevan. Okay. Magical. Does Estevan need convincing? So what are the responsibilities of <clears throat> singing to this whale? I just need to sing to this. Yeah, you need to sing to the whale because no one else be is earnest. answering. No one else is answering the whale song. Hmm. I am trying to figure out. Um. So I think what's happened with Esteban and his life right now, <laughs> as um, all the confetti's been thrown up into the air and everything's um, falling down and settling into place, is he wears the shoes inside for a little bit, and then he takes the shoes back off, and... Um, I think he goes back to living a barefoot life. He keeps mm. the shoes and um, he like more enshrines them. Okay. In this house. Where? What house again? Um, Ishmael's old. Old cottage? Um, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have I inherited his goats? Or have yeah. they gone... Yeah, you've got his goats. Uh, what okay, about the cool. goat fund, by the way? Mm, Do what? What about the goat fund? We had a goat fund. Goat fund, I guess, stays with him. Neat. Cool. Um, so how how do you come to my new cottage? 
this is probably the first time you've seen me in the new cottage. How much time have we jumped forward since? Oh, not the... very much. Like Back a week. Day. Oh, Days. okay. So you've just like just yeah. It's got to be enough. It's got to be enough time for me to get the shoes, right? Oh, I guess the uh, the the uh, planting of apple trees takes some time, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah a week. My bad. That makes sense. So, so it's been like a week, and um, I've been really busy, um, you know, resting, chilling out, getting high, you know. As you do, as you do. The the huge. Um, do you come to my cottage with the town singer? No, because she, she, she can't leave. She can't leave, so I can Ah, leave. so I have to. Yeah, you're going to need to come to her. Okay, and that's, that's... I meet you at the front door. Mm -hmm. um, you see my red and gold... Uh, um, shoes in the background. Um, but they're just window dressing at this point. Mm -hmm. And I say, Ashlyn, I heard you got engaged. Yeah, I did. How does that feel for you? It's... It, it... It's unreal. It's exciting. Great. I think you can tell he's maybe like a little out of it because he's not as enthusiastic as he was when you were... Um, mm -hmm when he heard that you were the prophet of the of the harvest goddess uh -huh. for the first time makes sense yeah so what how do you tell him about um the situation with the town singer um i think she just like says um your your singing skill incredible and the town singer hasn't been hasn't been doing your job and I don't know how to how to get her to do it other than just having someone else come and sing to the whale for her and you're Your voice is magical. I've seen it. And he pauses for a second and says, there's something I've missed since I've moved into a house. I, I feel warm. You know, just like on a lazy summer day, like the one that we're experiencing mm -hmm. right now. Right. Just don't. I feel like I've lost my edge. I I would really like to to make something and to do something, and I think that's that's something I can do. And we've done. Some things that have made me feel better about myself with Ishmael before he left. And I, I know who you are now, and that's important to me. And he's like almost babbling a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, I, I, I'm ready to leave right now. Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, and he looks back and, and just like, shuts the door behind him. Yeah, let's, let's All right. do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you both go on the dock. Um, and you tell... You tell her that Estevan will take over for singing, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Um, and she's gonna do it, but you're gonna make need to make a singing role for the whale. And I'm gonna be judged. You are going to be judged. Uh, if you fail, the whale is going to beach itself on the shore. No. Oh, that's so harsh. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you know, so goes. I was about to say, I have a persona, but I don't know where my persona went. Uh, I think I spend it um, helping in the dungeon or something. Probably. Yeah. Possibly. What's my ob? It's the will of the whale. Um, what is a whale's will? <laughs> um, I don't even know. I feel like I'm hearing a riddle. <laughs> what is a whale's will? What is a whale's will? Um, <clears throat> so it has to be... I think it's... It doesn't make much... What does it? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Yep. It's going to be... It's obs 2, which is a plus 1 obs because you have to make whale sounds. Which are slightly yeah. out of range of humans' voice. Now, you can get right. or die if you can overcome that somehow. Hmm. I can't think of a way to do that. Okay. So, Abs 3. Singing. Um, cool. Can I... Can I... Uh, roll some faith to... Uh, to make this open ended for him, for him. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Harvest goddess, I need you to to grant a boon of singing to my dear friend Estevan, and prove that he has your blessing. Hmm. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Um, go give me a faith check. It's successful. Yeah. All Dang. right, so it's open ended. I guess that this makes all the sixes explode, right? Yep. Yep. For for free. So. Yeah. Yep. I might end up spending some fate in order to oh reroll no. some failures. Yep. I'm spending fate to reroll a failure. I'm so bad at rolling things. Wow. Didn't, didn't you also, have though, any? Didn't you have any forks? Uh, however, that's a challenging sing test, which means that's what I need to get my mm. sing up to three. Mm. Wow! Mm. I we'll like it for a challenging test. That's yep. All right, uh, it's gonna happen. So that's where we uh, end the, the session. Uh, Wait. The whale. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm spending fate to reroll one trader. Okay. Which could mean... Could do it. Nope. That you didn't You didn't actually roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't play Ryan on us. Oh, oh shit. Actually... Almost got it. Oh, shit. So <laughs> close. So close. <laughs> so close. Oh. But the whale... Beaches itself on the shore. <laughs> and we're going to end the God. session there. That's good. All right. I Let's mean, that's bad, Arthur. but that's good. Uh, Artha time. So, uh, Ishmael, Yo. you are prepared. I am prepared. Uh, I think I get a persona for the idea that I would seek information about my homeland so I can sail away. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, my driven trade is now complete. The circle is closed. Nice. Uh, persona for convincing Ashlyn to take on the title of prophet. Yep. Yeah. 
uh, and fate for getting the adventuring team to work together. Uh, did you not get persona for that? Uh, I mean, we were they, together. Are they truly working together right now? I feel like I'll take persona for it if you want to give it to me. See, the way I read that is that I thought you were saying that you were going to try and get them to abandon relationships they didn't need. Yeah. Nope. Okay. What I meant okay. was is that they needed to work together because I knew I was going to leave. Okay. I think they were l- working together, especially like they went into the... Obviously, the match I think so, too. So. I think so, too. I give you Persona. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think that's it. I don't really know that uh, uh, any of my instincts came a big deal. I feel like I should give you Mode Breaker for just leaving all your goats. <laughs> <laughs> so I always right. take care of my property. Yeah, that's nope. true. I mean, you I left all my property to good. somebody else. You left all your property to someone you barely trust. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. From the culture who enslaved you. Right. Yeah, that's definitely Mode Breaker. Yeah, but those goats would have died without someone yeah. looking after That's them. That's true. Also true. Also true. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you even left them. Like, if you had failed that role, I was going to have you, like, get a map to the land where you were enslaved and hope that uh, your country won the war there and you had to sail off taking a risk. <laughs> but you succeeded your role, and I did not plan with too well. So sorry about that. <laughs> That's that was your problem twice today. Yeah. You planned against my victory, and you were so so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yep. But I think it worked out well, and uh, you would have gotten the uh, the map anyway, I guess, from defeating the cartographer. Mm-hmm. So, cool. Uh, so for my bits, um. I asked the Harvest Goddess what to plant and where, and then I planted it. So I think that's Persona. Yep. Um, I succeeded in finding, in defeating the first level of the mines and getting Ishmael information about his homeland. Yep. That's Persona. Uh, and Estevan is brave. I'll take him on my next adventure. We went on multiple adventures together. I think that's Persona mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Uh, for my instincts, um, the only one I would say possibly could get me into trouble or or anything was extending a hand of friendship both to the cartographer and in an attempt to the Winter Queen, but she kind of laughed me off and was like, right. "No." Um, well, uh, you had to auto fail that role, so <clears throat> I think it'll have an effect on the story to go forward. Okay, so that's fate. So take fate. Also, I feel like you are alive because of your pick wildflowers or berries. <laughs> probably. Yeah. So you probably should take a fate for that, too. Uh, okay, because that, that changed the way the, the story went. Okay. So, yeah. um... That was... uh, also, the, your curse changed the way the story went? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a fate. And, uh... What about being faithful? Um, accepting the harvest goddess into my life i'm not entirely sure if you're supposed to get artha for those are you yeah because they're traits they're still traits they're still traits huh um okay yeah i feel like you used your uh Faith magic. I, I, I mean, in so much as like this um, this is like the first time i've i've had this Right, but you immediately put it to use to yeah. change yeah. things. Um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I just love it weird because, like, it seems weird to give someone Arthur every time they use magic powers, but... Well, like I said, I, I don't think it would be every time. Because right. now that I have magic, using magic is normal. So it's not going to change yeah. the way the story goes. Okay. Yeah, but... that seems reasonable. Because I just got it using magic for the first time, drastically changed the way the story will go more, moving forward. Nice. So. All right, let's uh, see Esteban then. Okay, I think I get fate for a homeland is not a home. Ishmael must stay in Stockchester with the people who love him because I tried to work towards that, but I had a lot of inner conflict because I wanted what was good 
for Ishmael. Uh, yeah. so do you want to argue from Lordbreaker here? Is that what I'm hearing? Um, I wasn't arguing for Moldbreaker, but that might be the case. I feel like a lot of things have changed with Estevan this session in particular. Mm-hmm. Um, like his entire life has kind of just gotten flipped upside down because now he has a house. And now he's like, yeah. He's... And now um, Ishmael's not around either. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff that has changed. Is that really mode breaker though? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, not yeah, as in I'm arguing that it is. I'm like, yeah, as in, is it really mold breaker? I mean,. So here's the thing. If you can convince me that you're helping Ishmael repair his boat, his mold breaker, then you can have it. Let's take a look at what mold breaker is. Mold breaker is role playing your character in a believable and engaging manner at a point in the story where their beliefs, instincts, and traits conflict with a decision they must make. See, I don't think that my beliefs, instincts, and traits were conflicting with each other. I think it was that particular belief conflicting with something outside of my character sheet. Which well, I don't think is the way that Mold Breaker works. What was the thing outside your character sheet? Um, that I wanted what was good for Ishmael, even if he had to leave. Because I don't have beliefs about Ishmael well, should I do mean, what's best for himself. Ishmael has beliefs about Ishmael, though. Uh, about him leaving. So, like, your... The turmoil of your... Your belief mm. conflicting with his, you know? Yeah, it could also be that one belief conflicting with itself, because... I don't give it to you. I think it's conflicting with your instincts not to give up on your friends. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay, yep. that makes sense. That, that, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, you'll get it. Okay. Um, some returning is almost here. I must equip my horses to plow the fields in the park. Nope. Didn't even touch that one. Not with a nine-foot pole. Nope. Uh-huh. No. Um... Without shelter, even my mind is falling apart. I must find some way to house myself. I get persona for that because yep. now I have a house. We have a house. You, in fact, have a house. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's running wheel for tonight, I think. Um, Ooh, that was an I episode. Think I would like to mm-hmm. start next session with Trade Vault. Yeah, no, AP doesn't have to sit around the whole session. Unless you want to, AP. Not really. No. I'll still be <laughs> watching, but I'll probably be playing Overwatch at the same time. That's sure. Fair. You can also like pick up an that empty sounds like thing. fun. Yeah. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Um, great. No Overwatch. We'll do it at the start. Um, so think about what traits you want to vote for each other. And what traits good. you want to lose. All right, well, um, that was a great show. Let's uh, let's do some yeah. shout-outs. Uh, let's go around the circle and start in the other way. So, um, Adam, tell us about yourself, where people can find you on the internet, and what exciting things you are doing. Hi, I'm Adam, slash Dark Lavender Void. Um, I make a little game called Mortally Bankrupt, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I'm making some character sheets for that, and they are awesome right now. Check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash darklavendervoid, uh, to check out my little phone recorded video of what the character sheets were a couple of days ago. They slide around and stuff. They're pretty good. I don't know if that's um, good. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you try and click on something, it just moves. Um... I mean, that's not what I mean by sliding around. There's okay. also that, but there's also sliding around that's just straight up pretty decent. That's probably fine, though. Yeah. 
Um, more important than that, though, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, I am doing a little show called Design and Destroy, where four players make four story games in two hours and play test them. How? Let's find out. Nice. It's going to be interesting. That's for darn mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. I am ready for that to burn to the ground. <laughs> and then I can fix it if it's bad. Uh, I'm excited as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's me. All right. Uh, Golden, how about you? Hey, I uh, play lots of role-playing games. I uh, Sundays we play Noblis. Uh, last session, our priest blew the moon into orbit after it had been knocked out of orbit. This uh, it was pretty cool, um, and they turned a devil into an angel. Yeah. Anyway, we're doing some wild things. Uh, like there's there's all these different plots that are about to come to a head. We got like three sessions left, and I uh, hope people decide to join us. Um, I'm also getting getting ready to uh, stream D and D from Real Life Table, and we did our first like full tech test last Tuesday, and it worked. So we might actually start streaming this Tuesday. Wow, that's exciting. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I've I've streamed from a, a real life table before. I, I wasn't doing the streaming, but I was on the stream, and it's a it's a really different experience, like uh, than just tabletop streaming normally, and then from what we do, you know, like tabletop playing normally, and what we're doing here uh, on Roll Twenty. It's, it's yeah, it's a little bit different. It's uh, you know, technical challenges are also there. Like when I stream. I can't actually just listen to the game, you know, and adjust audio levels, and mm -hmm. I really can't do that live. Um, but I think I have all the issues worked out, so fingers crossed. Good luck, man. Good. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. I'm sending you my energy. Yeah. I need lots of energy because I got like six hours of sleep this week so far. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's not enough sleep, man. No. Uh, great, great. Uh, AP, let's, uh, let's hear about you. Where people can find you, what you do, um, on the internet. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Twitch streamer and RPGer, but more importantly, I'm doing my first gig as a DJ at my gym's third anniversary party tomorrow night. So that's what I'm excited for. Congrats! Whoa! I'm excited too. I want to know how that turns out, man. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> I mean, you'll um, find out because I'm doing Winner's Edge immediately after the end of the party. So, oh, okay. are you gonna live stream your DJing? No, of course not. That's crazy. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. <laughs> and sweet. And and sweet. Yes, I agree. But also pretty crazy. It's one of the first things I used uh, live stream for was watching live DJs. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I've actually ever done that. Yeah, I think the cool. first time I used live stream was to be part of a cult. Hmm. That's, I think you sounds isn't everything for right? cults for you know? <laughs> Yeah, isn't everything cults? It's just cults, cults, cults all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> uh brilliant. Uh and me, uh I'm Kelsa. You can find me on the internet, uh on Twitch and YouTube, Kelsa Delphi, and on Twitter at Kelsa. And um that's it. That's the show. Uh, I'm going to put it back over to the uh, title screen and the sweet music by Drummer Boy. Um, you should definitely check out Drummer Boy and his Patreon, where for just uh, $8 a song, you can have access to cool tunes. So, um, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.